Should I buy or sell SOXL? The report for SOXL was first published on our website Friday, March 24, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since March 16, 2023, our system ranks SOXL as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.536. In this period the stock has had a gain of 0.91%. This is an average return of 0.13% per day since first recommended. The ETF lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 37.08% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 20.11% and 76.02%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 53.13% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 97.21% and minus 63.82%. This equals a price between $0.462 and $5.99 after a year. In our daily updates for SOXL our last headline reads, Soxel ETF price fell more than minus 5.26% Friday closing at $16.57. The Soxel ETF price fell by minus 5.26% on the last day, Friday, March 24, 2023, from $17.49 to $16.57. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 7.35% from a day low at $16.04 to a day high of $17.22. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 17.94% gain for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the ETF, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the ETF. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 7 million shares and in total, 90 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.50 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $46, and the lowest price was $6.21. Right now the price is 63.98%, or $29.43, below 52-week high and 95.62%, or $361.67 below all-time high November 26, 2020 where the price hit $378.24. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for SOXL. The Soxel ETF holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the ETF giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $16.59. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $15.68. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, February 2, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 7.53%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, sell signal 36 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 5 days ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. Long term moving average, buy signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 54 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 48 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for SOXL
SOXL finds support from accumulated volume at $16.42 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the ETF moved $1.18 between high and low, or 7.35%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 8.85%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, SOXL meets first resistance at $16.80. If you do not hold SOXL shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn SOXL finds first level of support at $16.42 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Our recommended stop loss is $15.60, minus 5.86%. This ETF has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 35 days ago. Is Soxel ETF a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Soxel ETF to perform well in the short term. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 27th we expect SOXL to open up $0.0395 and start trading at $16.61. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.